Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. It's a very very minute percentage. Very small percentage. I would agree if President Hagainde Ichilema and this government were bragging after employing even about 2 million people, then we'll, certainly, we'll, we'll safely say that indeed their promise to create jobs has worked. But to employ only 41,000 people when over 19.5 million are unemployed. Surely, it is insulting the people of Zambia. Why even go every meeting? We have employed 30,000 teachers, 40,000 teachers. When you have over uh, about 15 million people without jobs, then out of the 15 million people, you only go and employ 30,000. And when you look at that particular employment, they advertised for positions, 30,000 people, 300,000 people employ, uh, applied to be employed. And out of the 300,000 people, only 30,000 were employed. If at all, they've been employed. Because there is some uh, information that in fact, it's not 30,000 people were employed. It was much less, but they've gone out to brag that they employed the 30,000 people. Now, if you take the 300,000 people who, are, who uh, applied for those jobs and they employ only 30,000, it's only 10% of the applicants. If you wrote an exam at UNSA or any other college or indeed at, uh, at secondary school, then you get 10%. You have failed. But what these people are doing is like, I, I don't know what they have achieved in terms of employment. Yes, it was a good thing to employ 30,000 people at a go. But it's not something that you can brag on because it's a very minute, it's a drop in the ocean. It's like you get a drop of blood in the ocean and you expect the ocean to turn red. Come on, let's be serious. Governance is a serious issue. It's not child play. The other thing they are boasting about is free education. People of Zambia, let us not be blinded by people who are known to be liars. They are creating a narrative as if they've started free education from grade 1 to grade 12. And yet, grade 1 to grade 7, people were not paying, even under PF. Grade 1 to grade 7 was free education under the previous government. The user fees were from grade 8 to grade 12. So it was a partial introduction of free education because the, the PF regime had actually provided for free education. And when you look at the number of students who were enjoying free education under the PF, that is from grade 1 to grade 7, were more than those who were in grade uh, 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 8 to grade 12. You can see that the stream of primary education is seven different grades, and the stream of uh, secondary is only five. So they cannot say that they, have in, they are the ones who have introduced free education in totality. They partially introduced free education and PF also provided part of that uh, free education. But every time any of them speaks, President 
ministers, they are bragging. We have introduced free education. And by the way, if you look at this same free education, it is a disaster in my view. You may have your own reasons to think it's a success, but for me, this thing is a disaster. This so-called free education that we brought about has brought problems in schools. It is just the teachers and the headmasters don't want to be found wanting by stating the truth. One, there are a lot of people in the classrooms. One teacher is teaching about 100 children. And really, how can the quality of education improve if one teacher is teaching 100, in some cases, even 120 uh, 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 pupils in one class? And by the way, employing 30,000 teachers against the so many schools that PF built is a drop in the ocean. Because the normal ratio teacher to pupil should just be about to the most 30. But now you find that in one classroom, there are over 100 pupils. As a result, the quality of education has been compromised. Secondly, the schools are not being given enough money to run. Under the uh, shared, in fact, uh, it was a shared uh, uh, you know, cost between the parents and the uh, uh, the government, because even in those days, government was sending grants to the schools, and schools were collecting user fees to supplement uh, government effort. The daily classified employees, like guards, cleaners, uh, sanitary officers, were being paid salaries from what was collected as uh, user fees. Today, we don't even know who is taking responsibility of the salaries of this cadre of employees. And in most of the schools, they are not even able now to run mock exams and exams at the end of the term because the money that is being sent as user fees to these schools is a drop in the ocean. So to keep on bragging against uh, free education, which has brought a very bad quality of education is also not too good. UPND, you can do better. But the problem, because every time we advise you like this, you don't accept the advice. Allah, governance is a shared responsibility between the opposition and those in government. And when we advise like this, it is only reasonable that those in government heed to the advice. Obviously, advice is there to take or leave. But at least you must see and say this advice is worth taking into account. But to just keep on rejecting advice that is coming from the opposition is not too good for the people of Zambia. Therefore, to call for a big celebration in a stadium of two years of UPND based on employing 30,000 teachers when the employable age is about 15 million is an insult to the people of Zambia. In some schools in rural areas still, you find that there is one teacher teaching grade 1, 2, 3, and 4. What, are, what, are, what, what have you achieved? In some schools, you find that the classroom blocks are very few, such that grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 are in one class, learning from one class. And the same teacher teaching all those uh, grades, then you boast all the time when we talk. Now, President by HH, we have employed 30,000 teachers. We have employed 30,000 teachers. In any case, it is the responsibility of government to employ. You employed these 30,000 teachers because you found the PF had built so many schools such that the demand for teachers was actually higher than the demand before PF built those, uh, those uh, schools. So who did you expect 
to employ the teachers that were needed to be in the new schools. So this idea of wanting to base achievements on 30,000 teachers must be trashed. This idea of basing 11,000 uh, health workers must be trashed. If you go to government hospitals today, for the, except the, the, uh, the uh, Maina Soko Military Hospital, that is where I found that at least they've got a reasonable cadre and number of health workers. But all the other hospitals, you'd find in a night shift, there's only one nurse on duty. If you are lucky, there will be two nurses on duty. In a ward that is full of critical patients. But you find this government is boasting about employing 11,000 teachers. In these hospitals, there are no drugs. Everybody, almost everybody who goes to, to the hospital is given a prescription. But you find by Master Wolyon say, UPND government is doing very well. You see, if you, UPND government, you are seeing that you've done very well, I can only equate you to that story, grade six story, the emperor's new suit, where everybody pretended that the king was dressed, when in actual fact, he was not dressed. Because they said, whoever is not seeing the suit of the chief, then is foolish. And everybody never wanted to be foolish until a young, small kid come and shouted that the, the king was, na uh, was uh, naked. This is what you are doing. So please, let's concentrate on providing an enabling environment for our people to live better. And by the way, this government is a Wapamwamba government. It's only a government for the rich. It is not a government for the poor. So far, the policies that have been espoused by the UPND government only favor the rich people. The poor people, I want to Mumpatamato, Valle Sala. I want to Muron Township, Valle Sala. I want to Kumikonfwa, Kumpolokoso, Kuchoma, Kukalomo. Kui teji teji, vale lale nsala, vale furanokulia, three meals, iyo mwa vala hile. And the reason is very simple, countrymen and women, hear me out. If we are going to depend on the West, Western world to tell us what to do, Zambia will never develop. We need to come up with our own homegrown initiatives to administer our resources, and to run our governments. Today, the UPND government is in an awkward situation. The reason why the price of millimill has gone up, the price of uh, uh, electricity has gone up, the price of fuel has gone up, is simply because the World, the World Bank and the IMF are telling us that don't subsidize, remove subsidies. But extraordinary situations, countrymen and women, cause for extraordinary effort. The same Western world that are telling us that we should not subsidize, they are subsidizing their agriculture. They are subsidizing the energy sector. Today, because of the war in Ukraine, the UK and other European countries are faced with very expensive uh, uh, energy uh, uh, costs, particularly gas. What the UK is doing today is that every household is given 120 pounds, plus or minus, to cushion the impact of the uh, high energy uh, 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 costs because of the war in Ukraine. Then they are subsidizing their people so that their people can live well. Then they are telling you, don't subsidize. <laughs> Despite the fact that the cost of living has gone up three times from the time PF left office, there is no corresponding increase in terms of salaries for civil servants, for minors, for guards, etc., etc. The salaries have remained the same, stagnant. 
and yet the cost of living keeps going up. And then you have the audacity to say you are going to celebrate two years of uh, UPND in office. What is there to celebrate? What is there to celebrate? What you need to do is to just the president go on TV and apologize to the people of Zambia that we are sorry what we promised you is not attainable because we are being controlled by the IMF. There is nothing that we can do unless there is approval from the IMF. We have experienced this before. And even yourselves are able to testify that indeed Zambians are going to be faced with a lot of suffering for a long time to come. Going by what my brother, uh, 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 Minister of Mines, said on, uh, on, uh, on uh, uh, Prime TV, that the situation that we are in is like you have a boil and then you squeeze it. During the time that you are squeezing the boil, you have the pain. But after the boil has been squeezed, you will have relief. But how long is that relief going to take? You are simply saying there will be suffering. But you are not telling us for how long that suffering will be. And when the, the, you know, the results uh, will be eminent in order to reduce the living, to improve the living standards of our people. Mwema mnina nemila mwena abantu kwa tuwa aditumpa. Aba wena zambia tawa atumpa. Awena zambia bantu wa basu masana. Elonga mwamuna na weka la quiet. Because muletu wa alanda pufa mwai kata. Wa alanda pufa mwai kata. Baping, excuse me, bapingi la fiat. Tuka mwona mkabwa koshi. Elo, umuntu onso wa temoku ichita bost. Lekeni ya bantu wale batu wa UPND na babomba. Not we have achieved. We have, at, in fact, President Edgar, uh, I mean, President Aga Inde Ichilema has achieved more than expectation. What an insult. What an insult to the people of Zambia. What has President uh, Aga Inde Ichilema achieved apart from employing a minute 30,000 teachers? Apart from employing 11,000 teachers and increasing CDF from 1.6 million to 28 million. And if you go in the townships, we are not saying there is no impact on CDF. Yes, there is an impact. But that impact will not improve the living standards of our people. Will not bring the cost of living down. What the people want is a life where they can afford one to send their children to school. Because this same free education you are saying is not free. It's not absolutely free. Parents buy uniforms. Parents buy shoes. Parents buy books. Where are they going to get the money if the price of minimum continue escalating as we have seen in the last uh, uh, two years? When President Akainde Ichilema announced through FRA that they are going to increase the buying costs of maize from the farmers from 108 kwacha per, 20, per 50 kg bag of maize to 280. I did warn that what the president should have done was just to come up with a mechanism to reduce the cost of production, reduce the cost of fertilizer so that the farmers can farm at a minimal cost, still maintain the 180 they would have been making uh, enough money. But to increase the price of maize to 280 kwacha per bag, leaving the cost of inputs at the same uh, 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 cost would simply mean that the price of uh, 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 millimil and the price of stock feed will go up. In any case, it is not only the nshima that people are struggling with. It is also chickens, beef, because these are fed from the byproducts of millimil. That's where they make uh, 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 chicken feed, uh, animal feed. So it means the cost of all these will go up. But I was ridiculed. Oh, you want the farmers? We care for the farmers. And if you care for the farmers, the best way is to reduce 
the cost of production, not to increase the cost, the buying of, uh, of mess. If you reduce the cost of production, it will simply mean, for instance, if to produce one bag, you are spending, uh, uh, for argument's sake, 5,000, and then you reduce, uh, uh, you know, the, the cost to probably 2,000, 2, you would make more profit at the same selling price of, of maize to the farmers and the grain, uh, 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 you know, the grain uh, uh, dealers. But if you just leave the cost of, of inputs very high and the cost of production and increase the cost of buying maize or the selling pr price of maize, you are actually sending, I mean, solving one problem by creating another problem. You, don't, you cannot resolve one problem by creating another problem. Look at the price of uh, maize today. And I can rest assure you that going towards December, the price of maize, Kalezaka Mama, mm, will reach 400 kwat. Because this is the time that Zambians experience cheaper minimum throughout the, 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 the past years because people are just now harvesting. But what happens after the harvest period? The price of bag, the bag of millimi will be unreachable to the ordinary people, even those who are working. I have said, and I want to say it again, that an average family eats four bags of millimi per month, of 25 kg bags per month, which means only on millimi they will require 1,200. What is the take-home pay for silver servants? What is the take-home pay for guard, guards by Malonda? What is the take-home pay for miners to be spending only on millimi 1,200? And you are bragging, we have achieved, we have worked, let us celebrate. Nonsense. And there is no reason for them to celebrate. And I want to caution you, Zambians. My law. Beke sanama basi mkula misenda. Tieni kuselebration. Ba mipela na matishet. Mkaladi ya matishet. Baka ama mpela. Mkambo kuli avana. If you are not careful. Mwika tila kambwidi. Mwika kambwidi. Even during the elections last time. The previous election. Nani miyewe that these people are politically impotent. They can't rule because ama policies yabo ya kusekesha aba wina te ya kusekesha aba landa. And today I am vindicated. I told you at mukachula mukatila kambwili wela it will be too late. You will have five years to deal with these people. And today you have a president who can say bamwebati uh, you know, the high cost of living because of the policies. He says, no, I don't care. As long as the policies I'm, 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 uh, I'm, 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 I'm uh, formulating favor the economy. Whether people vote me out, I don't care. There in you, the people that voted for him. Why should you keep him in status? Coming to the issue of uh, physics. I did tell the Zambians during the campaigns that the UPND, one of the policies that they'll bring is that they'll discontinue FISIP. I was ridiculed, insulted. But listen to this. Just two weeks ago, the Minister of Agriculture went and told Parliament, we are going to discontinue FISIP. Fertilize it to pay la baranda to lay le car. We are going to introduce loans for serious farmers. That was his actual words. We are going to introduce agriculture loans for serious farmers. Who are serious farmers? Imoba na kulubuadia, kumpolo koso. Mweba di matuli ima. Are you a serious farmer? Are you sure that you are going to buy fertilizer at the current cost and produce maize enough to live for household uh, food security 
and sell some in order for you to survive throughout the year? The question is no. Eno mumu ne ubu fiba kwata. I've said niba ma piete, niba puti, niba susula. Vaisaiba, two days, three, four days later, after the minister went to parliament to announce that they are going to discontinue FISIP. Dilabaisa unfa hit kubantu. Eh? Dilabaisa unfa feedback kubantu. Minister of Commerce. I apparently don't know where but no, the minister, I disagree with the minister of uh, uh, agriculture. We are not going to stop FISIP. The minister of agriculture was wrong. What a government. Paulie says before they are taken to parliament, they are discussed in cabinet, and cabinet approves. In that cabinet, the minister of commerce was there. And for the minister of agriculture to go to parliament and announce, the police say, but it's not agree. No, we have not been able to do anything. We have not been able to do anything. We have not no. The Minister of Agriculture was wrong. How can the parent Minister of Agriculture be wrong and the Minister of Commerce be right? And in any case, we say Minister wa Agriculture we will have church in the final and the roof at the Kalazi. It's you and Bachtila. Yeah, I want to warn you, Zambians. Where I come from, Bachtila, yeah, I will Tahidia. If you are the Minister of Agriculture, a fishing. Because if you are a they will not implement it because they know that in the next two, year, two and a half years there will be elections. But mark my words, immediately after the 2026 elections, they will remove FISIP. Ama loni ya wabaka la mipela. Nga waka mipela. Because bali ya wabaka le ukutila. Waka la pela serious farmers. Who should be commercial farmers. And middle income earning farmers. Imwe. Ili ya FISIP. Wa MMD na wa PF. Wa ili telenoku ishita improve. As a way of food security. For viable but vulnerable farmers. When you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. If you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. But that's how you do it. You don't know how to do it. But you don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it. And it is not them. You are the IMF. You are the IMF. You are the IMF. You are the IMF. They have uh, cringed a deal with the IMF. The reason why it took PF so many years to negotiate is because some of the conditions in that agreement do not favor the poor people. So PF was resistant to make sure that the conditions that would be agreed also favor the poor people. One of them was for this thing of removing physics. And they've said subsidies in the agriculture sector must be 1% of GDP by 2024-2025. Muka ya kuisa ya mwemwe balanda. Muka ya kuisa wana chigwe. Mweba ni makumu patamatu. Wamvula imo wamvula. Muka ya kui. Wana chikonde. Amai mutinta. Where will you be? So, awantunga wale landa. Mule posa kwa manu. Hello, ni mwamu lenge ni tungulu shuku tumpa. Ni mwamu lenge ni mwamu voters mwamu lenge na zambi. Because umuntu nga le mwamu po ufi. Afilo kufikirisha. Ime ni mwamu lenge na ufilo ha. Teku la tota feno kwewa tulole ele. Fika wa wino. Usho umuntu nga kwewa inenga na wina fye. Dola ikawele la pateni kwacha. Afilo kufikirisha. Aisa kwewa futi. No. Fio tukawesha tutuofu kwacha. Afilo kufikirisha. Umuntu mwa ni akweva fertilizer tukalunda kuli 8 bags alefu kufunia yako nomba. Elu akweva tifini tufika wabu ino kuntanshi. Kutu wasumi na shana. 
How can you believe this government saying things will be better because of the policies that we are espousing in future? But if you are a so if you are a Mila, if you are a Kuntansh, you are a Zambi. If you are a Mila, you are a Mila, you are a Mila, you are a experience. Isha ishiwa how government runs. Ishi kwete plan of how to do things. Te kubula fewa chipante pante. Atu yu ine, because alela nde chisungu chisuma. In any case, hawa nensi ku South Africa, hawa nensi ku Kenya, they don't depend on who speaks better English. Because even in their par parliaments, they speak their own local language. Nomba yunga mamfuwa fi umuntu, ale kasa ule chisungu, eh, meticulously, eh, eh, systematically, ate yaba vene, te papu. Methodically, ate hawe nyuyu ini. Mwene nefyo mule chula. Mwene na zambia, la pile ni hapa pene mula pile. And ask God to deliver you. Because mwave pwa, pafula. As I speak to you today, by you PND officials, by let's start exporting Mataba. And yet, there is a warning that there will be global shortage of, of grain. Maize inclusive. But can you start exporting Mataba? Then I will let Pisha. Ile lo. Ishish kusha pitako kuchin sabi. But ZNS, Bali kata 17 trucks. Baka pukola baikete, six trucks loaded with maize being exported by UPND cadres and officials. Ila baikata, baisa wa tumina kuminiso wa agriculture, ukwe wa no, ayo matawa, ni seed, vale ya mungu chita process ku Kenya. Mungu pangamo seed, ika wele mungu viala. <coughs> baikata se wino wa wabi, ika muinshilati. Mule ikata takuli export. Bazam seed. Amataba yabo seed. Basita process muna mwine mzambi. Basid ko. Basita produce muna mwine mzambi. Tabatuwana outside to go and prepare maize. To make seeds. This story follow it up. Mweba ma newspaper. Na ba police. Mube pusheva ZNS. I got this information from the horse's mouth. 17 trucks were arrested. Amataba ya chidi ya out. And yet, our production this year was not adequate. Mlei payavantu. This is what you were calling our name. Corruption. You found strategic maize. Mwachita export, mwachita export. You emptied the warehouses. Poor management of grain. And yet you know that there will be a shortage of grain. Elo mkese mkwanda that yo, ama milas, they are thirsty for profits. That's why the price of milimi is going up. But you don't think about things that you say. 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 You don't think about things being thirst for profit. But you don't think about things that you At least learn to say the truth by UPND. Mulebe pa wantu ati, no, by next year, the price of milimi will come down. How? You have increased the price, buying price of maize from 180 to 280. Unless mutuwe that mukabuesha, or mukachita subsidize. But if you are not going to subsidize, there is no way the price of milimi will come down. No way, no way. No matter how much you produce maize. If you believe that we increase production, then the price of maize will come down. Even if you produce more maize, the cost of maize will still remain at 280. In fact, the 280 more we can tell you about over 350 kg bag. So, I am a mila I am at 300 per 50 kg bag. How do you expect the price of millimil to go down? Instead of preparing the people, I beg your pardon. Instead of preparing the people psychologically, that umutengo wabunga wakulafe pamuru, muleba be povu fi. 
ati umtengo wabunga ukawela no mbanga ta uwelele elu wabantu wafuluwa ushia muka bachita blame ino wa mkupa bachita issue statement alakala mbabantu wa shumukupa ati bradinga ino umtengo mle diyako ifiumbu ba yupi endivari konde mene sana kukonde ma ba lela nda pochila kushiku ile no minister of agriculture wa wam parliament ebele ya mutengo wa munganga na unina mule ya kwe fiyaku ya fimbi fiya palo munga bwa tute munga bwa male mwala befyo mwale konde maba nenu ala lesa ni mali otola alinganya na pafyo tuchita elo lesa nga lefo kuseba ni avantu ala balo wechilafi because nga mwali 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 attack ba mkupa pali ya statement why should your minister and another minister says eh ubunga nga bunno mutengo mule shitafi ya mame da ya ya, ya mataba wa ya gaisha ila me da waka la shitafi waka la wapela fi the same cost of of, of, of milimil except that the quantity will be lower Ushamula ton ton kani ya febu inonga wantu. Ino mlela ndana wantu. Nangwa maka ya laya kumitwe yenu. Power goes to your head. Efi la batila power corrupts. Power corrupts. Under this government, there is corporate white collar corruption. Which you ordinary people are not seeing but we are seeing it. Ushamula mtu kutuwa ya wula ama contract. Mwachita create ama contract. Mwaya pela ama company yenu. Kumainu kufile chitika. Ba minister wale pangama companies. Kubo mfia ba iche babu. Aba kala mbababu ama relatives yabu. Elo ba ya sita direct. Ba, ba minor. Ama contract pele niya. Ama contractors wale kuma mining company yabu akale. Buonse na ba wafu. Bale wafuni yako. Bale leta wa, wa contractor babo ama kada zabo mwalale ngama mines ya tampio kukwata ama accidents no kukwata eh, eh, substandard work performance because ababa ntumule later they are not experienced in the mining sector but you just want to make your own money ine mwali njisadi lama contract kumaini mwali wea wa mine at mutamfieni batamfia mwamo na engineering Ukuwa ulo kwa tolu se. Pari balaba bo msi yaba bo mba kumuamo. Mwene fo kupanika chimbaka mbwini. But mwene labo kwa tisi. Chimbaka mbwini na muamo na. Vali kwa taba bo msi yaba bo mba kumuamo. No mba balaba bo msi yaba le chula. Because na mputula contract abramkli. Muamo na ya filo kwa fole shama benefits. Imome ni mwala tumana wa DC. Vete ni wa muamo na. Why have they paid? Bala ni pilashani because contract mwaputula abramkli. Running a mining a, a, a business is not a joke because you are more reusables. You, you, you pay people in two months, in three months. So now we poke a kale if into not poke if into kuma suppliers to pay them in three months after producing for three months. My sap to la para pay ne pum. My lady pilashani ama suppliers. My lady pilashani ala bonfi because of politics. When this thing happened in PF, there was condemnation. Even President Daga in the Ichilema. The PF must not play with people's businesses. Let us separate business with uh, politics. The same things Malik Chita condemned. If you're Malik Chita. If you're Salah Tsung, Salah Tsung, Filo Ruse. But, Nga Imwe. Mule Bula Masaplaya Zawa Kale. Eba kwa tenda nama, that's the economy of the copper belt. Mwana mku wika mwabantu wenu mulewa funyawa mwana mama ini companies because KCM ili under you, ili under government ZCMHI and Mopani ili under ZCMHI, you just direct the CEO ababa funye nipo, wike nipo hawa. Bala mwana 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 m Tushitisheni na ture chitarenti ya mama shinyeni. What are you creating? Mwema mnina ane, let's learn to love one another. Governance is not to squeeze others. It's to provide an enabling environment where businesses for everybody should thrive. 
So, uyum umpampa ni na no lupato jealousy that mumbo yangu mbalimbali government mwenye ngapanga ndara mama na engineering did not start doing business with the mines when I was in government. I started doing business with the mines in 1993. I never or never used my authority to promote mama na engineering. Mama na engineering was built long time ago as a mining uh, contractor and a, uh, a, a, a mining. Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, developing of mining as a contract. You go to the records and check. But mwao naona, meambi ama company zaya wano. Aba hantuna wata mpoku kutuka munu mcharo ama investors. Wale kutuka wena Zambia. Wale ya mkutuka invest ku Tanzania na kumbi because mwale ya sali za business. Mwale ya wana fia chalo. You are not building the economy. So abwaba letsta transporte amataba through the 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 Dar es Salaam border the Kenya and I'm challenging the government to investigate who ordered ZNS to release the 17 trucks and who ordered the police to release the six trucks from the Minister of Agriculture because you are smuggling maize The other thing, why should a secretary general of the UPND be involved in CDF projects? The problem that we have in Zambia, it should watch to work with Zambia. When we are a democracy, there is a distinction between the party and the government. The Secretary General of UPND is responsible for organizing UPND not to run government. Of late we've seen the Secretary General of UPND going to inspect CDF project, going to meet, have meetings with government employees, directors, heads of departments, town clerks. Under what law? Under what law? The reason is very simple. You want to show people that ECDF is a brainchild of the UPND party. That is why the Secretary General are laying around. Secretary General, you are trespassing in those government institutions. And now, in the town clerk, heads of department, stop meeting emenda is not a government official. It's a party operative. Is the Secretary General of UPND. He has nothing to do with running government. I was with you in, 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 in Parliament. How can you do such a thing? How can you do such a thing? And when people complain, Secretary General NDC, Tafi Lokulayama projects here, Nogulakumanyama heads of department, Arrogantly, you say, I, am, I run the party that is in government. There's a distinction between the UPND party and the UPND in government. The UPND in government, only those who have been appointed by the president, ministers, permanent secretaries, DCs, have a stake in the running of government. The secretary general is an outsider. And going to announce to supervise CDF projects is overlapping his responsibilities. Because he knows he's not part of government. He knows he's not part of government. But he's doing it. And when people tell you Chichilubo, typically Chitama governments, Nama governments are required. You dare the people. Then you want people to go and celebrate two years of UPND in government. You still have unfinished business with the Catholic Church. How I wish, how I wished you could use the 
two years in government to issue an apology to the Catholic Church, the Catholic priest, and Bishop Banda in particular. How I wish you can use the 12, the 24 months of you pending government to apologize to the Catholic Church. My brother, you cannot pretend that everything is normal when you had insulted the bishop of the Catholic Church. And you are saying, no, the UPND government and the UPND party are in harmony with the Catholic Church before you apologize. Takwa reconciliation, you have apology. Takwa reconciliation, you have apology. Efida Babe Mbaba Tila. Chichili fie. Tachifin fia mu konso. Chise sachiton toli tonfa. Umuntubale mweba. Wewe. Ichilonde tita chwe miatawe. Chili fia mwane nyumu konso ta wale fimba. Chilonda muka chichili ya chile pia. Chile ya chile pia. Chile ya chile pia. Liliano mbaisa chita realize ati chilonda na chikula. Kuya putulo kuru. Chichili fie. Tachifin fia mu konso. A attitude mukwete ba UPND. People go, your cadres go under uh, arras former president Ed Galungu in Malambo. fake apology. No, we apologize for the conduct of the perceived UPND cadres. What an apology. First, you are not accepting that those are UPND cadres, but you are apologizing. Go and give a genuine apolo apology stating that we apologize for the misconduct of our cadres, the UPND cadres in Malambo. That is a true apology. But why are po in Sosel? Where they perceived. So you are not agreeing that they are your cadres. So if they are your cadres, what are you apologizing for? So, as far as we are concerned, I am concerned with a reasonable mind is that the UPND have not apologized for the Malambo uh, situation. No, it never happened. And yet, it doesn't respect the chief. The behavior at that traditional ceremony was bad. And no, the 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 the, the, the PF are just making up things. So ne mfumu shile be pogufi. So le keni kutumpika avantu. Arrogance is the beginning of four of many leaders across the world. Nga bale kwewa ukutila itichintu. Na chivipa. Ule kana. Pasungu watila hi. Who knows that he knows not. Is a fool for five minutes. That he who does not know that he knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool forever. In short, you correct it and no man now improve. Kaidi, according to you, you are the womba above the expectations of the people. If you're in Sosalo Ivelan, Mama Munyani, Kwate Nuluse, Kubantu, two years on the line, we should have seen improvement. High cost of living. Kubantu Balechu. Nga wayana hundred kwacha mshop right le law. Ule ashita mafe fin tufibidi. Mwewa Munyani, by the time you realize you've been problems. Abantu bale chula. Umutengo wabunga we na na uchilamo. Ba pike ba limbiolu imbo. We mufiashi wesu ni we trade union. Mayo umfa ifo febana. Tulei idishanya. Tatulei kuta. 
Ubali vule chepa apantu mutengo wabunga. Na unina kuchila maripilwelo na bambita wabungu. Mwefu abantu wakalandesha. Balanda mmashu, balanda mwimbo. Imo mwefu mwona nomu. Fili oko tule. Lesa ni mari otora. Alingana na pafo tuchita. Ubufi. E cornerstone ya government ubufi. Elo inena alipata umuntu wa ubufi. Batatawa ale tukanya. Nga ba mfu watu langala na umunowe wa ubufi. Bala ndoba kweba iwe. Ule kiyo kwa angala na chilea. Chilea wa ubufi. Aka kufundo ubufi. Uka kulomu wa nomu vi. Nombe i government ubufi. Last year. Mwaribu ulile. You gave tax concessions to the mining companies by changing the formula of mineral royalty to a deductible uh, tax reducing what we were collecting and you were telling us that we want to encourage investments so that they, we can create more jobs because of what this incentive we have given FQM can sanction mine is going to invest 1.5 billion dollars to improve their efficiency and production and they are going to create in excess of 2000 jobs new jobs ile elo as i speak despite the fact that you gave fqm those uh, uh, tax concessions they are retrenching workers as I speak to you today, Udumunungu wa puile bali funya 80 people. Udumunungu wale funya 92. Their target is about 1,500 people to be retrenched. No mba concession mwa wapele tax concession yanshi. Mule tubepa no kutubepa, the 1.5 million investment, they are going to create jobs. Ukutanzi ya bantu, retrenchment. Chinch mwa wapele no ufifi. Inena alilandilo kwe wati, ii tax incentive mwapela mama ini nkawa, li dilu mwaledi ya. Umona wa mchita oil. You know, yo, it's to create jobs. The same company that was supposed to create an extra 2,000 jobs is now reducing its labor. And everybody is quiet in government. Ba union yeba shelefi. Ba union na wali no mwensi, wali etina. Because nga wachita protest, the same government will say vata mfieni. Can you go and sort out the issue at Kansanshi Mine where there are retrenchments? Take a look at the that you need fake God. Go and sort out the issue at Kansanshi. Leave the God issue in the hands of DEC. They are a competent organization to deal with the criminality in as far as the, the God scam is concerned. But they have to do investigations. Minister, what would you do? Pamula Basa. Yo, if you demand, take God, ni 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 zinki, na other minerals. Is that your job? So, but still, I cannot come Milan do. Kala ibala. Go and sort out the retrenchments at Kansanshi. We want the jobs that we were promised that Kansanshi was going to create, not reduction. Of labor. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. At least compare the upper pen because in an achilap, if in Gimu Alalawa, in quarter other issues to be continued tomorrow. It's when Bachilo or Quaven for a Kwanoko Mutash. Who could take what to let take one da Kai? Chimo feno kubawa mchime. Abashia. Slaves. Uwalanda kufe kuikata. Uwalanda kufe kuikata. Mwaya kubwa election. Wami sita attack by UPND. Walishe mfuti mumulu. To scare them. Wai katatu wala somu ntu mfuti. How can a country be run like that? Yo there is no kadalizim. Aboba ya mkutuka wa mungu. 
Et l'homme l'a comme père. Non, il n'y a pas de l'homme l'a a distinction. Valungu is former president. Il n'y a pas de l'homme l'a dit. Il n'y a pas de l'homme l'a dit. I do not support. By saying this, I'm not saying Ukuba Shupa was right. What is wrong in PF should be wrong in UPND. What is good for the goose must be good for the gander. You know, is a statesman, he's a former president. He has ruled Zambia according the respect, free space to move freely wherever he wants to go. You cannot curtail his movements. That's true. Papa Maseban. Hello, by Imenda. My brother, let me advise you. First, the gun we will not mention. By Imenda, na balaba kada ama press singers. We will let you come to America. It will balance the pama graph. Muleke. Eklesha katolika ni ma ni ema yoesu tula mubela. Keke ni mimbile kolwimbo. You cannot finish the Catholic Church. You finish yourselves. There is a song yo tuimba mu katolika. Atuti. Vele kete ni wonsa wo avashirika vakwe Pakushi pakatolika. Eketeni wonsa wo abashirika wakwe. Pakushi pakatolika. Twalishi pakatolika. Ekleza katolika imwe ukufuma fya kale na nomba. Twalishi mpafwe bana. Ni Yesuwe watupele. Ni eswe watupele Eklesia katolika Nangwa lande Neyo wawe peshani Tekwe shoku tele ntenta Ni eswe watupele Ni eswe watushirile Eklesia katolika Nangwa watukane Neyo wawande shani Tekwe shoku tele ntenta that should give you a sign that the Catholic Church will always be there. Governments will come and go. By Menda, go and apologize publicly to Bishop Banda and the Catholic Church. And Zambians, I'm telling you, never be cheated that this country will develop by President Daka Inde Ichilema flying out every week, every two weeks to look for direct foreign investment. This country will only develop if we start deriving eh? benefits from our own mind, minds. The tax regime that we have now and what we are earning from the mining companies will forever be will forever be beggars to the western world and yet we are the ones who have the resources twakula lomba fie e na batupela ko grant ya 2000 na batupela ko loan a loan is a loan ata ata bane ata ata se ata kula lomba lionse when we have minerals we need to come up with policies that are going to make sure we earn enough money from the mining, from our minerals. Last year we exported 20, uh, is it uh, 200, I forgot, is it 24 billion worth of minerals only to collect taxes of 326 million. What a government. What a people. We need to change the narrative. We have to benefit if we collect enough money from the mining industry, we can easily pay off the loans. We can easily subsidize millimil. 
we can easily subsidize electricity we can subsidize uh, fuel but to repeal the tax incentives from Sokotwani leave Zambia better than you found it but under the current regime you leave Zambia worse than you found it God bless Zambia in Bwili Island this is DJ Mutati exclusive Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.